Over the last decade, rapid globalization has jumped the world's energy demand by more than 30%. To meet the rising demand and counteract climate change, many countries have constructed revolutionary energy megaprojects on massive scales. Did you know that the UK is building a wind park with turbines larger than the London Eye? And that a single dam in China could have powered the entire United States for a whole year? Before we continue, make sure to like this video and subscribe to Top Luxury. Let us know in the comments below which of these mega projects you liked the most. Number 4. Hydropower Of all the ways we have tweaked our Earth to serve us, nothing comes close to our daring replumbing of the world's waterways. Whether it's for agriculture, industry, or even power generation, we can't do it without water. It's easy to assume that since 75% of the Earth's surface is covered with water, using water for our needs won't be a problem, but you'd be wrong. The truth is that 97% of our planet's water is salty ocean. Most of the remaining 3% that is fresh is trapped in glaciers in Antarctica, Greenland, and mountains. Only 0.5% of the world's water mass is held on the surface in rivers, lakes, and wetlands where we can use it. To use the few masses of water we do have, ancient people have always found many ways to store water, but over the past two centuries, humans have gone to a whole new level with hydroengineering. With dams that trap water to provide electricity, hydroelectricity has gone on a grand scale. None of it, though, is more impressive than the Three Gorges Dam. Located on the Yangtze River, the Three Gorges Dam is the largest dam structure in the world. Construction took almost 20 years, from 1994 to 2012, but the result is a facility on a scale like no other. The hydroelectric facility generates 22.5 gigawatts of electricity, 11 times more power than the equally massive Hoover Dam, making it the most productive hydroelectric dam in the world. The massive dam is 185 meters tall and 2.3 kilometers long. Its power source station has generated enough total energy to power the United States for a whole year. As efficient as the dam is, though, it's not without its controversies. Environmentalist and political opposition to the construction of the Three Gorges Dam was fierce, which is why it took the Chinese government more than 40 years to give the go-ahead on the project. Since its construction, criticisms have not stopped. The dam project caused the displacement of over 1.3 million people between 1993 and 2009, by far the biggest population resettlement for a hydropower project in human history. The dam also disrupted the river's flow, creating an imbalance upstream and depriving agricultural land and fish downstream of essential nutrients. Not to mention the imminent threat of the dam collapsing. For years, reports have surfaced warning of the dam's inability to contain the river during floods. Concerns worsened when the state-run media agency, Xinhua News Agency, reported in late 2020 that there had been a breakage in the dam structure that could potentially lead to the collapse of the entire dam. Although the authorities claim the damage is within manageable parameters, there's still fear that the dam could give out at any moment. Number 3. Solar Power Currently, only about 2% of world renewable power comes from solar energy, which is surprising since solar energy is the most abundant renewable energy source. The truth is that the sun has more than enough energy for everything we need on Earth. The only problem is our ability to turn it into electricity efficiently. Tesla even came up with their installment, the Tesla Solar Roof. But while the small rooftop panels are undoubtedly efficient and generate enough energy to power households, they are way too small for large-scale factories. So, over the last few years, more solar farms have been developed to match rising demand. One facility that puts the full might of solar farms on display is Badla Solar Park in India. The plant's construction began in 2015, and it was completed in 2019. It covers an area of 13,000 acres, enough space to fit 9,000 football fields, and houses over 10,000 solar panels. That's 50% more solar installation than Sunrun, the largest residential solar installer in the United States, has completed in its 14-year history. 
To put it plainly, the Badla Solar Park is massive, which is understandable since it serves up to 700,000 households. The Badla Park is spread over the Jodhpur district of Rajasthan, one of the hottest places in India. The location of the plant is very strategic for the project. The area is dry and arid, with temperatures reaching as high as 46 degrees Celsius. Only a few, if any, can live in this area. With peak sun and virtually no one around, it makes a perfect place to host the biggest solar park in the world. But that's not the only reason this massive park is located in India. The country boasts the cheapest solar power in the entire world, much cheaper than in the US and Europe. This is because of low technology, labor, and permit costs, which makes India one of the top spots for solar energy deployment. And the country is taking advantage of those low costs. It already has over 30 solar parks like Badla in the works to cater for 20% of the country that doesn't have access to electricity, with a goal to push solar energy generation to 40% by 2032. Number 2. Heliostats Quick backstory, a heliostat is a device that includes a mirror that reflects sunlight towards a predetermined target. Theoretically, heliostats have an advantage over solar parks because they have minimal reflection loss and offer much higher solar thermal efficiency. American scientists thought so too. That's why they built the Avanpa Solar Electric Generating System. Located in California's Mojave Desert, the Avanpa System is the world's largest solar thermal facility. A joint project led by NRG, Google, and Bright Source Energy, Ivanpa produces enough clean renewable electricity to power 140,000 homes. The facility is covered with mirrors over an area about the size of Los Angeles International Airport and reflects the sunlight in three 150-meter high towers. The project also helps curb carbon emissions by more than 400,000 tons of carbon dioxide a year, which is equivalent to removing 72,000 vehicles off-road. By most standards, Ivanpa Station looks like a great idea to harvest the sun's energy, but that's only half the story. From the day the plant opened for business in 2014, critics have said the technology at Ivanpa is outdated and too demanding to maintain. It certainly didn't help that in 2016, Ivanpa's operator, NRG Energy, reported that a fire had broken out on the plant due to mirrors that did not track the sun correctly, focusing sunlight onto the wrong part of the plant tower. When it comes to scaling, solar parks also have the advantage over Ivanpa. Ivanpa has 173,500 garage door-sized sets of mirrors. All those moving parts make Ivanpa more challenging to maintain than static solar panels. Number 1. Offshore Wind Parks Wind energy technology may not be new, but the way we use it today is very different and becoming more efficient. In addition to huge onshore wind farms, more and more offshore wind farms are being built. Offshore wind farms have most of the same advantages as land-based wind farms, but because of the faster winds on the ocean, they can generate much more energy. Horn C1, the world's largest offshore wind farm, is a pioneer project and a testament to this fact. Located 120 kilometers off England's Yorkshire coast, farther out in the sea than any other wind farm in the world, Horn C1 is an ambitious project meant to supply 1 million UK homes with clean electricity. Currently, the farm has a capacity of about 1.2 gigawatts and covers an area larger than the Maldives. Plans to expand the wind farm are already being finalized in order to ultimately generate up to 6 gigawatts and supply 4 million households. As of 2021, it hosts 174 wind turbines, with turbines that rise 190 meters into the sky and blades with a radius 1.5 times bigger than the London Eye Ferris wheel. According to developers, a single rotation of one of the turbines can power the average home for an entire day. And that's not even the most impressive part. The farm also features the world's longest high-voltage offshore cable system, comprising more than 900 kilometers of cables that transfer the generated electricity to the national grid. The project is another step for the United Kingdom in its quest to produce a third of its power from offshore wind by 2030. What do you think about these energy projects? Which do you think holds the most promise for the future? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to Top Luxury. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.